Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic today is the computer, the internet, and web page design. And of course, we have to uh, talk about the computer, the internet, and new trends in uh, web page designs. Uh, Mr. Nathaniel Perry. Uh, Mr. Mr. Nathaniel Perry is from Tennessee State University and with the uh, Department of Institutional Research. And of course, Mr. Perry, let me uh, welcome you to the show this morning. Thank you, Dr. Haynes. And to, uh, in a real sense, uh, uh, make statements that, make the statement that uh, you've been with us on a number of occasions, but uh, mm -hmm. I think that uh, what we're trying to do this morning in terms of the computer, the internet, and uh, web page designs goes much beyond that uh, in the sense that uh, we recognize you uh, not only being uh, a part of institutional research at Tennessee State University, but we also recognize you as the individual who, in a real sense, has been responsible for everything that we've been able to accomplish on the uh, internet and with the web page and all of those things over the last, well, the last 10 years. I think about uh, in 1998, for the first time mm -hmm. I got in touch with you in reference to uh, creating some kind of situation uh, dealing with the internet, and of course out of that came all of a number of other things in right. reference to that and I you know and I just wanted to say that we certainly appreciate that uh, and let us have you to start us off by uh, talking about your background your education and some of the things that were important that in a real sense laid a foundation for you mm -hmm. being able to steer and guide me in yeah. terms of my own internet development okay well I actually started in the military uh, it was back in 1988 where I had my first experience with uh, doing projects on the mm -hmm. on the computer and it just started out with something simple as Harvard Graphics mm -hmm. and doing slide presentations. Mm -hmm. And it built on a, it, it kind of gets you hooked as you're walk, working on a computer. You start getting in more and more involved. Mm -hmm. And as it built, I started doing st statistics mm -hmm. in the Army with the recruiting command in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And eventually started working as a trainer at Tennessee State University mm -hmm. where I met you and started mm -hmm. Uh, we started building web pages together, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's how our mm -hmm. connection mm -hmm. actually built. Mm -hmm. You know, why don't uh, you say something, uh, Ms. Perry, in reference to uh, uh, the uh, computer in the sense that uh, there are so many people, even today, I think when we first uh, talked about this, I think we talked about the reluctance on the part of many people to become involved with the computer. Why don't you explain how uh, the, the technology has changed to such a way now that uh, it's relatively easy compared to the way it was when you started or when even we, when I started. When we first started it was uh, to a point where you had to type in all the different codes in the mm -hmm. background. You had to take a text editor, type in the codes, what, how you, what words you wanted to say, what picture you wanted to show mm -hmm. up and you had to make sure that those tags matched where mm -hmm. you wanted to go. Then they started coming out with what you see is what you get type programs mm -hmm. for uh, web documents where mm -hmm. when you see that I'm going to put a picture in this location, then that's where that picture is mm -hmm. going to show up. So it kind of developed from there to now they have already built um, templates mm -hmm. where all you can do is go on the internet and you can buy a template mm -hmm. and just put your information inside of that mm -hmm. template. So it's it's really uh, friendly, user friendly mm -hmm. for uh, many people that are starting, starting out with mm -hmm. HTML documents. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, when you uh, first met the uh, internet, Mr. Perry, I think you indicated that you were involved in uh, military service. But now, how uh, much has uh, the whole idea of the internet changed over the last uh, many years? I mean, why is that uh, important today? Uh, compared to the way it was when you first started because you did not start with uh, the entire what the range of what we have today right. dealing with the internet it's the usage the the people's becoming familiar with what the internet is all about and being able to reach instead of this local area mm -hmm. as far as putting out a product or information that you want to display you're reaching a global community such as some of the people that you've met in UK mm -hmm that uh, would like some of the information that you put on this television mm -hmm. show. So mm -hmm. you see it's a wide variety of people that want to see your information mm -hmm. and you're able to get that information to them as mm -hmm. quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. You know, I think you mentioned uh, the uh, whole idea of not only reaching uh, the local community, but in a real sense over the last uh, few seconds we have before our first commercial break, 
in a real sense when we come back we want to talk about uh, some of the uh, new avenues and new adventures that are involved in trying to reach this global market more than anything mm -hmm. else and how we might be able to play into that uh, uh, market because okay. I think that that's one of the uh, most important things now that people are concerned about uh, that the market is there and that uh, the technology is there mm -hmm. but somehow unless you become acquainted with the market and the technology and right. that's what we want to try to do today okay. then uh, you know it's useless and so we want to try to do that today and of course we'll be, we'll be back with our audience following this very very short uh, commercial break to the second segment of the show for